Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 33 of our Darkness Falls series and we are going on a bit of an adventure in case you didn't notice by the thumbnail, the title, or I'm not even sure what I'm making of that yet, but we're going on an adventure. First things first, I'm going to run over to the trader because I believe... No, take that back. Uh, I'm going to go over here anyway just to sell what I have just to get some extra monies, but he hasn't reset yet. It's uh, three days plus one, so 33 should be day 34 when he resets again. So the place that we're going on an adventure today is we're going to try and get to this. Hey, what's up? What? L let me talk to you. What? What is your malfunction here? Okay. I need to sell just a couple things. I got all the dye out uh, that I could sell the pink stuff here. Let me sell this. You don't want any more? Oh, you suck. Okay, well, I'll get that. And those extra goggles. Now I got a little bit of extra money on me. I guess I'll hang on to the one pink dye. And yeah, he doesn't reset until day 35. I mean, he technically reset yesterday. Hey, look, another crucible. That means I need to double check and see if he has anything in here. Um, I could buy this so I could scrap it for the pieces. Uh, you don't have anything I just really want, do you? Like, really, really want? Nails. Yeah, there's probably something else. Okay, let me get these. Let me see. I can scrap this and scrap that. Get a little bit of the parts here. I didn't want to have to run back over to the house, but I guess I could hit my bike anyway. But... Anyway, if you didn't tell by the information that I've already provided, we are going to head over to the new area, this opening a trade route thing. We need to venture out further into the world. I have more and more people telling me, hey, Cap, you're never going to find anything that you really need if you don't venture out. We've got two days until the next horde. So if I get over there today, I can do some exploring, get some stuff done that I need to over there and make it back hopefully by tomorrow and we'll be ready to go. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me uh, put this right back in here so I can sell that next time. Put all these over here. We aren't anywhere close to getting the Actually, we're not too far off on that one. Uh, let me see. I used the shale I bought yesterday. Uh, made a full stack of gas. Well, I'm I have a thousand gas. Bring a couple repair kits in case my bike decides to take a poop. And, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. Where is my bicycle? I'm going to bring this with me just in case things go absolutely... Wait, what do you have in you that I need to get out here? I didn't... Oh, you got a bunch of crap on you. Okay. Uh, well, okay, we're going to do that real quick. It's a good thing I started just a little bit earlier than the day of the normal. Alright, so the snare is open. The leaves... Oh, there's a rabbit. I'll leave you be. You're cool right now. Leave me an Easter egg if you would, please. Drop this crap off in here real quick. I thought I was going to be good to go for a second, but... Okay, now we're ready to go. I can put my bike inside my mini bike. That way if I run out of gas or it breaks or things just go absolutely terrible, I'll go ahead and refill you. Then I can, um, you know, pedal my way out of there. Repair kits and gas I'll put in there. Also, I spent my one skill point on pack mule so I can open up a little bit more inventory space just to give me a better chance of not being encumbered. All right. We got a full tank of gas. We got four and a half kilometers to go. So nothing better to do than just to kick on some driving music and hope for the best. Uh, looking at the map, the road out of town leads to nowhere, basically. So we're going to be going off road a little bit. Hopefully we don't run into any really mountainous areas or anything that's, you know, big enough to severely hurt us. But we got a bit of a drive. Uh, who do you think? Uh, who do you think the next trader is going to be? We got the trader we've been dealing with. We got the other trader, Rick, and uh, whatever one. I can't even remember the other trader's name now. Doesn't really matter. But uh, who do you think the trader is going to be? Be curious as if you want to leave a comment, make a guess before we even get over there and see if your guess was right as to what trader we're going to open up next. But enough flapping my word hole. We got a bit of a drive to do, so let's just get to it. Well, that's a good way to go ahead and put a little damper on the trip here. Now we got a... Oops, hang on. Yep, we got a wolf over here, and we got our mini bike stuck in a ditch here. Oh, good. That's what I was hoping for. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to do that. You, you forced my hand. Yeah, you forced my hand. Okay, uh, let's uh, get a little bit of distance between us and them so I can put the mini bike back down. The road over here is all kinds of janky, so I may need to see if I can just run over the top of this little mountain real quick. Okay, so that road goes off this way. We need to go this direction. Well, this is uh, this is starting off fantastic. We made it less than a kilometer from the house and got the bike stuck, and we're already in some really crappy terrain. 
<laughs> I'm not going to run the whole way, but I definitely got to get to the other side of a mountain. Oh, God. We are definitely in a terrible, terrible spot. Okay, well, let's just keep on keeping on and see if we can find a good road to put down here. Well, hang on just a second here. This is not where we're supposed to go. Look at it. Wait, this isn't one of those trap places, is it? Okay, no, we have actual traders here. Okay, so this is not... We still got two and a half kilometers to go. But we might as well come in here real quick and see if we can't buy anything that might be of use here since he's actually here, you know. Uh, Food-wise, I'm okay. Um, this is one of the smaller things, but I can at least check to see if they have anything good on them. That I can... I've drove by thousands of those on the way over here. Don't need that. A crowbar that's a little bit better than the one I... Actually, that's not as good as the one I have. I can't math today. It's okay. And nothing up in there. Anything in the forge? Nothing in the forge. All right. Let's go see if the trader has... What do y'all... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Not that it's going to stop him, but I forgot to close the doors. Let me go up here and see if he's got anything that could be useful. Maybe some books or some recipes we don't already have. More ammo. I got just the thing. Uh, bookshelf I could definitely get. Paper. That's that's all you got on you. It's just some paper back there. Can I take your register too? Sub, dude. All right. Let's see if he's got anything good on him. Well, he didn't have much on him. We got a couple schematics that we can scrap down for some more notes, and we got some more uh, 45 ammo. That's about it. He's got other things that I could get. He's got a little turret on him. Actually, he's got two turrets on him. Wouldn't mind having one of those for the horde base, but. Uh, that'll be one of those that I regret not getting now, and uh, we're just hoping we can find one later on. But, time to keep on moving. We still got a little ways to go to get to the trader we're actually supposed to get to. It. We finally made it. You know, there probably was some sort of road system. I mean, it was it was nice that the last little bit was all road all the way here. But we, I don't know if there's a road that goes all the way around. Obviously, I can't see the map. But, you know, the old saying is, shortest distance between two points is a straight line in the complete and opposite direction. And if you know what movie that's from, kudos to you. What are you? Blueberries. Sure, I'll pick up some free blueberries. Usually, I come to these traders and uh, can't pick up any of this stuff. So, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, this is Trader Jen. We'll go up and say hi to her in a minute. We're going to loot her crap first. See if we can... That's all you have in there? Chemistry station? Just seeds? That's not anything anybody needs. But, we're going to uh, loot and see if she's got anything good. And then, we can sell it right back to her. That's what we do. Free wood's always good. So, I don't know exactly what's going to happen when we get this particular quest done. I don't know if all of a sudden things are going to start turning terrible and we're going to start getting attacked by big ugly things. I, I don't know. Um, I, I know I've been told by many, 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 many people now that I desperately need to open the map up and explore some more to be able to get every possible thing, you know, to start seeing some of the, the other stuff. We're definitely going to have to open the map and... I feel like I have made it a decent far distance away. I can't word today. A decent distance away from the, you know, home now. We've gone to the desert and now we're way down here. Is that better than the one I have? It's a 29. It needs to be repaired, but it's a 23. Eh, I'll hang on to it. Uh, wait, hang on. That's, oh, it's a destroyed workbench. I was going to say, I just use this workbench and go ahead and uh, repair it. But nope, that one's destroyed because why not? Sub, dude. Hey, what are the odds you have anything on you that I... Oh. Okay, sure. I'll go ahead and take that. You have anything on you that might be good? No. Nothing on you. Yeah, you'll be seeing me. See me real soon, sir. All right, let's go say hi to Jen. See if she's got anything for us jobs-wise. Okay, so we completed the quest over here. Look, it's gone. Give me a Z. Tier 1 clear, that's it. Give me... What is it? Give me a Z. Oh, that's the zombie cheerleaders there. And we got two treasure maps and the tier one clear all of those back over at the house. So we completed the quest of just get over here. Hello, I'm looking for Ray Finkel. 
and a clean pair of shorts. But right at the moment, I'm gonna tiptoe right over here. Let me, let me, th your shelf is in the way. Do you mind if I remove this real quick? Hang on. All right, now don't mind me. Wait, why can't I get underneath this? Usually you can, okay, fine, I'll do it your way. Excuse me, excuse me. We're gonna see if we can't bust in here. We got a, the big lock pick out. Easy peasy, see if there's anything good in there. A little bit of ammo is not terrible. Uh, ooh, a compound bow. We'll have to compare that to our crossbow. We have an iron crossbow, but this is a compound bow. That might be better. I don't have arrows with me since I have the bolts. Double pocket mod and a grenade. All right, let me double check real quick to see if there's anything I have that I can replace. Uh, I can put this extra pocket mod. All right, so that one's a triple. Okay, I have triples on everything except for that. Sub girl. All right, I'm gonna talk to you and see what you got going on here. Do you, let me see your inventory real quick. I could probably sell a few things that I don't absolutely have to have. Actually, no, I've got everything I wanna hang on to. So we'll just see if you've got anything good on you here. Let me see your secret stash. Hang on, hang on. Is there somebody inside? Hey, 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 you. I'm trying to conduct business over here. Can you freaking quit it? Where did you come from? Did you make a door yourself? Did I let you in? All these traders standing around here armed, just standing out there not doing a dang thing. Look, I'm trying to bust a Mac here. Hang on. Oh, now you start shooting, now that I actually took care of it. Okay, well, that's fine. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm going to buy some of these just because I can already stack those. Now, let's see what you do have on you. Power doors and bridges. Oh, man, that could actually be kind of useful. I will take this so I can scrap it just for the thingies. Yep, I, I definitely found something I like. Okay, see if you have any jobs that are like real close by. Buried supplies, both of those are not too far away from us. We'll do one of those because they're pretty easy to get to. It's a tier, actually. We'll do a buried supplies because they're pretty you easy. Like you can handle yourself. Yeah, I, I, can, work. I can absolutely I handle myself. Handle <laughs> I just realized the context of what I was saying may be slightly inappropriate. I don't care. All right, let's go ahead and put a few things in here we don't have to have on us, like everything that we had in there originally. And, yeah, we're pretty much okay. I don't have any dynamite, but I can... Let me see, how much block damage? It's only 10 with a grenade, so it's probably not going to do too much for us. All right, well, we got a whole new area to explore here. I honestly don't even know for certain if I've ever completed one of those opening trade routes. Because um, I know in the first Lone Survivor series, they didn't have that. Second Lone Survivor, we died before we found, uh, before we even got that as an opportunity. Wasteland, I don't know, because the Wasteland was broken, basically, and it never even showed up where any of the um, traders were, I definitely didn't get any kind of markers to go anywhere. So that might be the first one we've done. I, uh, to be honest, I was hoping for a little bit more. Yeah, I was really hoping for something. Oh, shoot. Is that bear coming towards me? Hang on. Hang on. Are we about to have to make a, have to make a run here? Okay, so he's fighting a zombie. All right, so he's going to leave us alone. I have faith in it. All right, so let's see. Typically, southwest corner is a good place to start. Chicken? Can you protect me for a second? I'm going to dig a hole here. Wait, what was that? Oh. What the sh... No. I remember that sound from the last video when I didn't know what it was. I need a silencer. Oh, crap. That thing is fast moving here. Hang on. Um, wait. I'll... Yeah, there you go. Whoops. Gotcha. Oh, I was hoping you would take out Bam for me. Where'd he go? All right. Come on. Come on out. Right in the mouth. Right, we're attracting all the other zombies here. As long as we don't attract the bear. Dang it. We're, uh, I was really hoping to come over here and just dig a hole. You know, I was tasked with digging a hole. I came over with shovel in hand. But no, all of you idiots got to come over here and start something with me. Charlie, you got anything good on you? Oh, you know we have to. Nut shot for the win. All right, we see Owen sauntering over here. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for that bear. Ooh, potato. Okay, let's dig a little bit. Maybe we can get lucky and find it right off the bat here. We're going to start in the southwest quadrant. And there it is. Sweet. We got it real quick. Food, couple schematics. 
Anybody show up? Eh, a couple people. Nobody really running at me. It's okay. We're going to go say hi to Jen. We're going to start this stuff back in. I don't need to deal with y'all right now. There's plenty of things for me to do besides this. I would be really, really interested to see. We may have to drop this off real quick. Uh, scrap all these schematics down we just got. And I kind of want to take a tour of this uh, town real quick to see if perchance we have a bookstore or a library or one of those mansions with a lot of bookshelves in them. You know, something, one of those. Because we could definitely use a hell of a lot of schematics here. we got to unlock all the rest of our classes. We're going to need a bunch of those to be able to make the master class books. So it would behoove us to go ahead and check on that. I doubt she's going to give us very much for this. Probably just a hearty thank you and 300 gold. Congratulations. Oh, maybe not. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Okay, well, you do that. Sterile bandages we're okay on. Iron Breaker mod. I think I have one of those. Actually, I know I have one of those. I may have one on here. I'm not going to click. Uh, yeah, I have an Iron Breaker mod on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and say thank you, ma'am. We're zoomed in a little bit awkwardly right at the moment, but we're going to be okay with that. So let me see. Let me sell this. So this, I can scrap this and scrap that. This compound bow is, yeah, there's stuff going on here. You know what? I'm gonna, can, I'll sell you a trophy. How about that? Alrighty then. Alrighty then, Stay indeed. I uh, will definitely try. All right, let me, let me see. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. I think that's all the schematics that we have. Nice. We got a couple first aid kits. That's actually not too bad. Uh, let me see. I could probably, nah, I can't make any food of what I have here. This one can of miso. What's up, Frank? Are you, have you been drinking? You kind of just staggered into the wall there. Man, you should probably wait at least until, I don't know, get a little food in you to help kind of absorb some of that. Keep you from running into the walls. You're a little bit of a lightweight. All right, so what we're going to do, I may end up just like spending the night in the trader here because it's moderately safe-ish. But I do want to take a tour of this town to see if, like I said, if we can find any kind of bookstores or a uh, crack a book, something like that. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll find a, you know, some, something kind of cool over here. But right at the moment, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye out and see what kind of stuff we can find, I guess. Uh, let me see. That looks like the coloring of the store that's got the adult dancers. We'll go over here and say hi real quick. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a school. The schools can have a decent number of books. Oh no no no, that's not the that's that's not the dancers. That's the poopy pants daycare. We did a Blood Moon versus Horde Night at that one there. Not oh, this is the actual. That's the big school. Yeah, we have one over by the house. That is an enormous thing. That is definitely not a quick in and out sort of thing. Got a cemetery there. Let's take a tour around. Uh, this doesn't look like it's too much bigger than what we had. Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn. It's a good place to get some super corn, but we don't necessarily have to have that either at the moment. Corn is not something that we've been uh, having difficulty finding. Fortunately, we've been able to find... Look, look at all that dead corn back there. I think that's... Yeah, that's dead corn. I mean, if it was alive, I'd go get it because I'm not going to pass up on free corn either. So, you guys, like I said, you guys have been telling me that I haven't even seen any of the good stuff yet that we're going to come across in this world. And I'm, you know, I'm kind of anxiously waiting to see some of the terrible things that you guys have told me that I get to look forward to seeing, you know? Walt, did you bring me anything? No. I mean, I don't want it to sneak up on me, but I would like to see it from a distance so that I can kind of look at it before it gets to me. I'm going to see if I can get this, get some more gas real quick. It's not much, but it's honest work. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to spend the night over here, probably hang out inside the trader, just because it's kind of safe. And I'm not going to worry about trying to fortify a house, because tomorrow is day 34. I need to head home for certain to make sure I have plenty of time to get the uh, base put back together, some upgrades and stuff and things to that. That's the log cabin there. There's a, there's a bunch of really big houses in this neighborhood. This must be like the upper class. All right, what do we got over here? This is the fire station number seven. No, that's the fire department. My dad was a fireman when he was, well, long, long, long time ago. 
he was a lieutenant in a fire department down in New Mexico. I actually got to go to, me and my brother did, on a trip down that we stayed with him for Christmas one year. And we actually got to go to an actual house fire. It was... It was creepy, but it was also kind of cool to see my dad and almost kind of like the whole hero status thing of watching him put on all the necessary gear and bust in the front door and, you know, run in and check, make sure there's nobody in there. Fortunately, there's nobody in there, so we didn't have to deal with that. Oh, we've got a working stiff tools that could be worth exploring. But anyway, it was it was cool. It was like I said, it was creepy, but it was cool just to be able to see it really close. We were parked out in front of it. We sat inside the fire truck while all was going on. Uh, let me see. I, what I could do is I could go ahead and just mark this real quick. And we'll do that. Stiff tools. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it is right there. That's a stiff tool. <laughs> and that's a B. Shotgun Messiah Factory. We are absolutely not going in there. That place is difficult on a good day. I'm not seeing any like libraries or anything here at all. No crack of books. Nope, nope, nothing over there. So, for anybody who... Ooh, that's a cool-looking tree for... Uh, wait, hang on, what is this? Is this another traitor? Huh. There are two traitors real close to each other. Got anything in the register I can borrow? I'll bring it back, I promise. What are the odds that one's destroyed too? Okay. Ooh, another crowbar. Well, we can use that to repair this one. Again, we gotta find a freaking uh, workbench that's working first. Hey, it's kind of cool. We were able to find two that are real close to each other. Nothing in here. At least it's functioning though. Got anything in there that I just have to have? Uh, no. But I'll go ahead and take it. What do we? Ooh, we have a vault door in there that's locked. Means they're probably hiding something really good in there. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that. Where does... Why do you have this going? Oh, just your little lookout zone? Okay. Thought maybe there was something in there. Oh, uh, just in case there's another door over here. I'm not going to be mean and bust that one down. This is actually not a bad spot to get into right here, just because the zombies can't get up to me. See so if they got anything in the duffel bag. One thing of cotton. Odd thing to store at the traders, but okay. Ooh, hang on. We should be able to get a purse down there. Nothing. Hey, imagine that. Oh, what's up, dude? It looks like you kind of got this short straw here. It's like, hey, we're going to have you stand literally on top of the barbed wire on top of hay bales. Yeah. Everybody else is like, hey, check it out. I got a bridge. You don't. Um, let me see. I should be able to maybe get up to where I need to go a little bit easier going through the top here than trying to go through Ooh, a duster. I could sell. Actually, I'll take both of those. I could sell those. See if I can get up here and say hi to him. What's up, dude? A pool table? Dude, can I camp out with here you tonight? Because, you know, we could we could totally hang. I'm pretty good at some nine ball. Or can I take your can I take your solar panels home with me? Alright, uh so I'm gonna guess behind the vault door is where something useful is. I don't know why y'all have a vault door in here. Uh but we're not gonna go through the vault door. We're gonna go through the wooden wall right next to it. Is there anything in there? Oh, that's just the door to the outside. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up? Who are you? Eve, the seasoned survivor. Hey. That's... Hey, calm. Chill. I got nothing. I'm I'm not unarmed, but here, let's see what you got. Do you have any jobs? Quest the test. Challenge started. The test. Clear out the sleepers. Where the hell is that at? Uh, That's going to be way over that way. Let's see, we got a little over a kilometer, almost two. Hang on, woman. Which direction is this from here? Let me see. Am I pointing the right direction? Okay, so it's right over there. I am looking the right direction, right? Okay, so it's this way somewhere, right? About a kilometer or so, a little over. Where is this friggin' place at? Why are you breathing so hard? You're standing still. You need to work on your cardio, lady. Okay, where the hell is this at? That is something we're going to have to do tomorrow. Obviously, we do not have enough time to do that today. Um, can I talk to you again? Do you have any jobs? Oh, we got just the one. Hello, friend. Hi. I like the eye patch. Kind of got this whole G.I. Joe thing going on. Kind of like Scarlet. 
I mean, she don't have an eye patch, but it, it works for you. Yeah, keep doing your thing. Um, I guess I could probably actually stay... Well, I don't want to stay here tonight. Things get terrible. I, wait, hang on. I need to get up in there, though. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can go... I could do it like this. Make life a little easy for me. Put you right there. We're going to just jump stack over here. That's what I was trying to do right there. That's that's exactly what I was trying to do right there. Heave! Sup, lady? You got anything in here worth getting? I'm not going to bother with any doors. Got nothing in here. It's just the bunkhouse, huh? Okay, well, I thought there might be something worth at least looking at in here, but clearly not. Y'all locked up the least interesting room in the whole building, but okay. Sure, why not? Let me out. Which freaking place did I come in at? Oh, this one over here, okay. Alright, well, there's not much left over here. I definitely want to go do this quest tomorrow and see what it's going to get us because I'm assuming that that's something part of the Darkness Falls thing that is going to lead us back around to uh, some sort of story. Alright, which direction are we going here? We need to go back up the other direction a little bit. We still didn't see any bookstores or anything even close to that. But at least we found Eve. Um, I think that was one of the important survivors I was supposed to find. I, I'm not even entirely sure, but I think somebody was just like, Oh, wait till you find Eve. She's kind of a, a chore to deal with. So far, so good. She hadn't tried to kill me, so that's always good. But we need to get back over to this trader real quick. And uh, then we can call it a night over here. We don't really have anything we can do besides just kind of hang out in the house and sleep and hope for the best. Uh, I think it's back over this way. I don't know the exact layout of this town just yet, but I think it's right over here. I wouldn't mind finding a, one of those giant cathedrals like I had for the Horde Knight in Lone Survivor, the Cathedral of Death. Because I know where the actual loot is, and in the basement there's a buttload of uh, books and stuff in there. That would be fantastic to get. Well, this is cool. I'm glad we at least found what we're kind of looking for. Hey, I'm going to park my bike inside. I hope you got a big trunk. Park you right in here. Hope you don't mind. We're going to put your own chaw. Food's a little bit low, but we got food on us. Okay, y'all protect me. Basically, we're going to hang out in this room right over here. I'm not going to do anything tonight besides just kind of keep my food up, check my inventory, make sure there's not any other trash or anything in here I can take apart for pieces. I mean, we got this whole upper area here that I could disassemble. I don't think there's anything on the roof. There usually is not, but I will double check just in case something changed. I could take that apart. And nothing up here. Okay, cool. Well, all right, guys, we got a little bit of time before the day ends, but like I said, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hang out here. And then tomorrow, dang it. Okay, so what I need to find out is where, where I'm heading, because it looks like I'm heading that direction. But for some reason, I can't find it on the map. So maybe it's one of those secret things. Because uh, it's day 33, man. That means we need to get back home. I guess worst case scenario, if we get back home on day 35, real early like, we'd have enough time. Because the base is in pretty good shape. We just have to do some repairs to it and definitely do some upgrades. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a fun little journey out here. And uh, we'll go do some more journeying tomorrow. But in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.